Saving money can make a positive impact any time of the year. And according to the Better Business Bureau, summer home improvement projects could be an opportunity for big savings if you know how to negotiate. Cameron Nakashima with the Better Business Bureau, he joins us with tips for how to negotiate on large purchases, and he joins us now live. Good morning, Cameron. So good to see you today. Good morning, Chris. Good to see you too. Yes, thank you for joining us and helping to address this uh, big issue. So what do we need to know to make sure that we are getting the right price? BBB has seen that getting the right price on a high cost purchase comes down to identifying good businesses, getting multiple bids or quotes, and being willing to initiate and follow through with a conversation about price. Negotiation uh, it can seem uncomfortable for many. Uh, many might think that it's rude or assume that a price is 100% fixed uh, or firm. Uh, but every project is different, and there's always an opportunity to respectfully discuss your unique project needs, especially when it comes down to uh, what impacts cost. Yes, negotiating, a huge part of it, and almost like an art form that is pretty intimidating to a lot of people. Yes, Cameron. So what advice do you have to encourage someone who doesn't feel comfortable negotiating? Yeah, to them, I would say that negotiation, it's just a conversation. For someone who is not great at negotiation, it can feel intimidating, but it doesn't need to. Uh, and they can think of it this way. If you can communicate your project needs and perhaps find a way to be flexible on your end as well, uh, and that can lead to saving hundreds or thousands of dollars on your next project this summer, uh, why not have that conversation, right? It never hurts to help. Yes, and that's Sorry, good. it never hurts to ask. Yes, absolutely, and being flexible is a huge one. And uh, so what are all the steps that shoppers can take to start improving their negotiation skills for these large purchases? I have three steps that they can take uh, to help save money on large projects like these. So number one is research the fair market price before you go into your negotiations so that you're well equipped and you know what to expect. Number two is get multiple bids. You should be getting at least three different uh, quotes from three different companies that you trust and feel comfortable moving forward with. An easy way to do that is to uh, find the trusted businesses at bbb.org using the get a quote tool. And the third step in the process is to leverage your options respectfully. Uh, so if your top choice is more expensive than the rest, you can use the bids that you've collected to have a conversation around pricing with that contractor. That uh, but also be true to your budget. So if they're not able to come down, you might have to go with option number two or number three uh, to make sure that you're getting the right price for you. When having these conversations, it's important to be respectful and stay true to budget. The goal of negotiation is never to take advantage of a company or a person, uh, but it's just to get a good price that is beneficial for everyone involved. Yes, and that's great. And also, that's a great tip is knowing your budget and not going over because we've seen a lot of problems with that. But also, the Better, Bureau, Better Business Bureau has a number of resources to help you out with trusted companies as well as to make the most of your money. That's at BBB.org. And we have a big thank you uh, to Cameron Nakashima for telling us more about this great issue. You have a wonderful day, and God bless. You too. Thank you. Uh, mahalo.